Thank you so much. Beyond Horizon, reinventing universities in the age of AI. We all know that artificial intelligence is reshaping the world. It is affecting every sector, and things are changing by leaps and bounds. Today, Indian universities are at crossroads. What next? How to go about teaching learning process is changing and is going to change beyond imagination. From admissions to examinations, from rigid curricula to AI integrated classrooms, there is an urgent need for universities to revamp, to change, to make it relevant for the future generations to have equipped themselves with skills and knowledge that will make them ready for the world that is yet to be discovered. There is a clear responsibility of the universities not to just create students who are job ready, but make them ready for a world that doesn't exist yet. The fusion of tradition and technology can make it easily happen for especially the Indian universities to make this a reality. We are on the cusp of reimagining universities in the age of AI. The horizon as we knew it. India as a destination has always been known, aspired for knowledge beyond boundaries, from the Upanishad's inquiry of who am I to the Nalanda's global exchange of ideas. India as a destination is always known for going beyond horizon when it comes to knowledge, knowledge sharing, knowledge discovery. But somewhere along the way, universities have become rigid structures. Departments became silos, exams became endpoints, and degrees became destinations. Jobs, let me put it as coolies for the corporate world, became the aspirations for many. Right, wrong, I'm not here to debate about it, but there is a need for universities to go and change this, especially with the advent of AI and impact of AI on education. There is a responsibility for the universities from being credential factories to curiosity frontiers, enabling students to be more curious, enabling them with skills so that they can conquer the world and keep learning, that's what the purpose of any university has to be. Well, having said that, what universities must do, I think I have told that, but what our university, what our university is doing? AI, the catalyst of how universities must evolve for crossing the horizons. I would like to share what we have done what we are doing and what we plan to do for AI to remain a catalyst which can help change the way education, teaching, learning happens in this country. We have implemented certain aspects. We are implementing certain aspects of AI and we plan to implement certain more because it's a journey and we are sure that's going to benefit the student community and all stakeholders who are associated with the university. Let me talk about what we have implemented. There are several hundred thousand students across the world who want to know what courses are offering. We have students from almost 85 countries who join us, pursue some or the other program here in our university. Imagine going and giving the information that they need if they are going to call us at any point in the day. 24 by 7, we cannot have someone answering the calls and giving information that they need. Today. We have made it possible thanks to AI. We have an AI virtual assistant, the number displayed on our site, which can be used by anyone across the world to call and converse. We launched it first with English and Hindi. Today, this AI-powered assistant can go and answer calls in English, Hindi, Marathi, French, and Arabic. And it's at any point in day that, or night that someone can call and get the details about the university, about the courses offered, or someone who wants to go and join the university as a professor of practice, or a university which plans to have an MOU with us, wants to call up and get the details, handling all stakeholders 
has become a possibility. That's one thing which we have implemented. Let me give another one which we have implemented where there are 100,000 students plus who write our competitive exam. When they're writing the competitive exam, they might have some doubts while they fill the forms. So we then went ahead with an AI assisted bot, which gives all answers that are needed by the student who's aspiring to join us. Through this AI bot, questions are answered. While we implemented this, we were having our own doubts. Will it give the kind of customer satisfaction which a human is going to give when the calls are answered? To our surprise, when we computed the CSAT scores, the human CSAT score was 4.7, and the AI assisted CSAT score for 4.9. Again, making us believe that AI can definitely do a job if it is trained well, giving more customer satisfaction than what a human would do. The third one which we are implementing right now is in the School of Digital Learning, where more than 15,000 students give an exam. Imagine correcting all the 15,000 papers within a short span of time. Well, if it's going to be objective, it's easy because you know what is right answer, what is wrong, and it can be automated. But these are theoretical questions. All the more, the students are also using AI tools to generate these answers and paste them. So we are implementing, it's almost done 90% now, that an AI-assisted teaching assistant will scan through the papers that are submitted, check for plagiarism, check for AI-generated content, check for the correct answer and compare it with the answer given, and give the marks appropriately, and give the reasoning for allotting that marks. This is something which we are implementing right now, we'll be rolling out in the next month when the exam session starts for the online and digital learning students who have enrolled with us. Going to what we plan to implement is a 24 by 7 AI assisted tutor for every student of our university. If there is a question that the student has, why should he or she wait to ask the faculty member? What if it is there on their WhatsApp? that they go and put their question on the WhatsApp, and this engine will refer to the notes that are given by the prof, check, within that content tells, look, this is the correct answer, and instead of going and hallucinating or giving something which is there on the internet, it is objective and right. We are in the process of implementing this, again, show, to show how universities can change teaching learning with AI assistant. Personalized learning at scale is the next ambition that we have for the next year. We're suggesting students what could happen if this is what is happening with them while they are in their journey of academics with us. Based on the past performance, the current performance, the historical data of equivalent learners in the universities who have graduated over the past 50 years, and giving them that this could happen if this is the trend that's happening with you. I think that will be a wealth of knowledge which the students can get if this personalized learning at scale, which we plan to implement next year. Impact of AI on education, it is not a threat, but it is a force multiplier is what we want to showcase to the world. Going ahead, these are some lessons that I have for the universities that I aspire to go and follow, that they follow these. The four fundamental shifts, as I call them. Universities should move from teaching to enabling learning. I think that's a great responsibility of the university. Gone are the days where the faculty members feel it's me who knows everything and it's you who has to learn from me. In fact, the role of faculty members has to shift from being just who are going to teach to people who are going to be mentors. Faculty as mentors, AI as enablers, and students are the discoverers. So that's the first pillar, I would say, as from teaching to enabling. From just being syllabus completers, it is the responsibility of the teachers to ensure that they are curiosity enablers. That's a great responsibility to make sure that this curiosity makes the student learn for life and not just for grades, marks, and degree. The second pillar, as I call it, is as with respect to the content-driven to the capability-driven. Ethical reasoning, creativity, emotional intelligence, are aspects which a simple AI tool can't definitely go and enable students to learn. It is the responsibility of the universities and teachers that they make this pillar strong of moving from content-driven to capability-driven, ensuring that students go ahead and understand the aspects of creativity, emotional intelligence, and ethical way of doing business and work. Once that is done, 
I think that's a great role that the university would do to ensure that students just don't mug up, cram, and put it in the exams, but go and become responsible citizens who learn for life. The third pillar is from departments to interdisciplinary labs. The boundaries are thinning. It's beyond the horizon that we are talking about. So if you look at engineers should understand ethics, artists should understand data. So it's about problem-focused ecosystems that are created for students to learn rather than chasing marks, degrees, and aspirations to become coolies for the corporate world. That's something which the universities should definitely focus on. The last pillar is from compliance to innovation. Many of the faculty members today are busy for compliance, busy preparing files for accreditation. A lot of work is going only in this mundane job of collecting data, processing data, and presenting data. With the intervention of AI, this can become automated if invested properly with proper guidelines and ethical procedures. There will be more time that is there with the faculty members to inspire students rather than going and teaching what is there in the textbook, which the student can anyway learn. I think that's a great responsibility of the university and university teachers for the system to change, for this to happen, that you are not just doing something at the cost of uh, uh, you know, going and having the complaints, the cost of relevance should not be lost. That was the four pillars that I was talking about. And we are here not to build better universities. We are here to build braver ones. The ones that embrace AI not fear it. Ones that create opportunity, not gatekeep it. Ones that just not look beyond the semester, the next semester, but instead ask, what does the humanity need and how are things changing and are we empowering our students to take on that world that doesn't exist now? The horizon is not the end of sight. It is the beginning of vision. It's a high responsibility that is there with the university and the educators so that they don't become obsolete if they don't take on the ride which is happening now, the wave of AI, to ensure that that is used properly to create the next generation who are ethically responsible and are lifelong learners. Thank you so much. <laughs>